couple of years ago on Carp TV, we met up with Darren from ATT to have a look at a brand new bite alarm that hit the market, this little beauty. Now since then they've become amazingly popular, haven't they? Very not, popular, not yeah. Not just in our country, but in Europe too. You've got a few new products to have a look at, but first of all, do you want to just talk us through the little beauty? Yeah. Well, the alarm itself has got two computers inside it. That's mad, isn't it? Something yeah, that big. For that small, it's really good. It's got two reed switches, which is like on some of the uh, roller alarms. It gets rid of the anti rock through wind, rain, and bad weather. So it recognises it, it has to go a certain distance. Which is really important. Which is it? important. Nothing worse we, than sitting there listening to that. Exactly. There's no speaker and no buttons, but we can still change the sensitivity on the alarm by changing the roller. A two magnet roller, you need like a 10 mil movement. Um, a four magnet roller, you'll need a five mil, and we do a six, but only in the black and white colour, which is a lot of match anglers like, and that has to move literally two, three mil. But most people you even hearing in Europe use a two or four magnet. Right. So, and even the seven colours plus a matching roller for the alarms. But I've got the extended ears, obviously, so it eliminates the snag ears or the carbon bars that you need to buy, or for obviously fierce takes. So, yeah, they're pretty neat. Definitely. Pretty and neat, and they've sold a hell of a lot in the last two years. There's no like, on off button on them, is there? No, the only thing, the way to turn it off, when you get a take or you get a bite or a noise on the alarm, the first movement or the magnet on the reed switch will wake the alarm, you get a louder beep and the rest of intermittent as usual, but to turn it off, when you put it away, the cover so is magnetised in it, so it fix the reed switch which cuts it out completely, so that's on battery safe. That's amazing. But the batteries we've been averaging, what we've been told, have been lasting probably about a year. Not bad for a little six volt battery. Not at all. Which don't cost that much to replace, to be honest, so... Well, from that, they're good. You know, not only do they look the part, you know, they obviously do the, do the business mm -hmm. too. Um, so you've got, now you've got different colours, yeah, we've got seven colours in the range. All the alarms come naturally with a, a nylon black roller, but you can get a roller to match every colour, plus a PTFE, so we do eight coloured rollers. I uh, see so you've got the old little isotope slots there for the tackle tarts. Yeah, there's seven matching colour isotopes to obviously match the colour lights and rollers, <laughs> or the buzzer and stuff, but um, that's all done. Gardner actually sell the isotopes, which fit in them perfectly, because they obviously distribute all of our stuff for us. Right. And uh, everything's bought direct from the shops via, via Gardner, so... Cool. And, uh, Looking at it, I mean, it looks, you know, it looks so simple. I don't suppose it needs any sort of servicing or anything like that, does it? No, just a little wipe over, keep the cover on to maintain your battery. But there's also a spare skit if you ever take the battery out and you've had it a, like a year, two years. There's a new gasket in there, obviously, because they're 100% waterproof and that can be brittle and the weather can damage it. So you can change that. It's got the screwdriver there to change the roller for another roller and obviously spare screws and stuff. So it's pretty easy to look after. And it also comes with a two-year warranty once you've bought it. Really? So as long as you've got your receipt from where you bought it from the shop, and if there is ever a problem, which we don't get many of, you, we just change it over directly, swap for like, like for like, so. Excellent. Well, you can't, can't knock that sort of no. service, can you, mate? No. All right, well, moving on then. I've got some other bits and bobs here to have a look at. All right, in the range now, we've just brought out the cube, which is totally uh, watertight. It emits the sound for an airtight container. Yeah. It's for only for leaving on your bivvy. I usually have that on my bivvy on my table because I just sleep under a brolly or whatever. And I usually have one now. We do a modification for extended range just for if you're out on the boat landing fish or if you're in the next swim or whatever. So I generally keep that on my table. Obviously, it's got a stand and stands up. And this will just generally go in my pocket just for peace of mind, basically. OK, so what's the normal range then without a modification? It depends on where you are. If you're in a dip or you've got trees, it's, the range is really good. But obviously for the European anglers and stuff, they like to That's be off their rods a bit, it, yeah. and they, the rods can move further out depending if the lake's a bit tidal or. It's like you're saying as well, if they're out 200 metres in a boat or whatever. Landing a fish and, and another rod's tearing off, and they want to know about it, so that's what it's for basically. Covering all bases. But that's a non profitable thing that we do, we just do it because it's what our customers have asked for. Really? So, and because the aerials are quite expensive and it's done by us personally at, we're at our workshops, it's just a non profitable thing that we do just obviously for the customer care side of stuff, so. Excellent it's a service. good thing. Yeah, so it's becoming very popular. Right, I know you've got a little thing, something a little bit special to show us here. Got to see the old Neville on the table yeah. there. Oh, the long awaited Nev back. <laughs> I know there's a lot of Neville fans out there, and there's a lot of people that still use them. Yeah, yeah, iconic alarms, obviously, because of the people that use them and stuff. But um, we've created a, a new back, which is two pieces of plastic fused, and there's an aerial inside of that. And um, I know a lot of the Nev people might complain because we changed the diagonal slant on the ears and give it the ATT effect, which is the extendable ears. Right. But in basic fact, it's done because the aerial has to travel that high. Got ya. And that's how, it, and we've slightly extended that. Obviously, a lot of the guys fished the uh, rods up and a lot of them were moaning because the uh, rod was sitting on the roller. Right, at a bit of an off. angle, yeah. 
So, but it, so you've improved it, really. <laughs> yeah, but all it is basically, you unscrew the nev back, the original nev back. There's two wires you put onto the two wires, black and red, that you can see. This contains its own battery. It's got a gasket as well, not like the original blue silicon that's around it. You screw it back on, and it now works with our receiver. So <laughs> Mate, it's basically a dongle there, that we've done <laughs> on the V1 systems, and it's just a dongle in the shape of a nev back. So. They're going to be seriously popular. And they've been put through some serious testing and range testing. And we were supposed to come out in January, but we wasn't happy with it. But now we're really happy with it. It's all been tested fully, so now hopefully it's going to do really well. Fantastic. And make a lot of people happy, which is our aim. Well, I know there's a serious amount of Neville fans out there and that are probably sitting there now wondering, all right, go on in, how much? <laughs> well, like all of our products, they're all affordable. Um, this is basically, like I said, the dongle in the shape of a Nevback. The dongles retail at about 37 to 38.99, and this will be no different. Is that all it's going to be? And that's all it's going to be. And then you just need the receivers to go with it, obviously. And the receiver, but these are going to be sold from our new website. So obviously you don't need fitting if some people are not competent to solder on and stuff. They can contact us through our new website, which is up and running now. They can basically tell us what they want, send their alarms in. We can fit it and send it out to them, and our turnaround time is basically a week. So, And on the new website, you can buy any other part of an alarm, the back, a roller, a front if it's scratched or damaged, everything's going to be available, even the computer inside or if you wanted a different colour light on your LEDs after time, it's all going to be available. That's what I like about ACT, sort of, you think about everything, don't you? Every, yeah. every, all the bases are covered, um, all brilliant equipment and also, I've also heard it's not just an ATT website, you're also a bit of a buzzer hospital. It is a buzzer hospital, we get um, a lot of other brands sent in from AVAs to the RXs to the Delkims whatever, and anything that's out of warranty that people still love and want to keep. They'll send to us, we'll fix it, and we'll send it back to them with no problem, with a real small fee, and they turn around so quick, and the customer care is really good. It's everything's done within a week, which is what people are happy with, because people are on the bank weekly, they don't want to be about their equipment, so it's a good turnaround. Well, once again, very impressed with the old ATT range. I mean, you must have covered it all there. Is there anything else going to be coming out in the future? There are. We're on a two-year schedule. There are some things coming out, but obviously I don't want to say too much about it, but they are going to be really special when they're going to turn a few heads. And I think a lot of people are going to be excited about the stuff that we've got coming out. So next two years for us, as like the last two years, are going to be really exciting. And hopefully we'll keep bringing out the goods and people keep buying it. Spot on. Keep us posted. Definitely. Cheers, Rob. Cheers. Thanks very much.